Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, October 17th. Happy National Pasta Day. Please rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Moment of silence. Please be seated. Hey, Environmental Club, we have a meeting today right after school in room 217, Mr. Pike's room. The meeting should last about 30 minutes. We will run on an assembly day bell schedule on Friday, October 20th in order to hold our annual fall rally. Seniors, please remember there is no power block on assembly day, so there will be no privileges on Friday the 20th. There is a charity cornhole event at the Bridgewater Vets Club on Saturday, October 21st. They are looking for student volunteers from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. to hand out candy for the trunk or treat part of the event. If you are looking for service hours, please contact molly.gru at yahoo.com or come to the main office. Model UN will be meeting today during Power Block in the library. Also, please note that we will be meeting next Wednesday after school. A friendly reminder that tomorrow the 18th is an advisory day. All students will remain in their Power Block for the advisory lesson. Wildcat leaders should report to their middle school Power Block after the five minute freeze to assist with their lesson. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Breast cancer is the most commonly diagnosed cancer in the world. There are over 2 million reported cases a year globally. That means 25% of all cancer cases in the world were reported as breast cancer. Countries like Belgium, the Netherlands, France, Denmark, and New Zealand saw some of the highest breast cancer rates. The Global Citizens Club is looking to support the World Cancer Research Fund by selling bracelets. The World Cancer Research Fund is a not-for-profit organization that leads and unifies the network of cancer prevention charities. These charities are based in Europe, the Americas, and Asia, giving a global voice to inform people about cancer prevention. The Global Citizens will be selling bracelets during Power Block this week, as well as at the Powder Puff and Homecoming football games. Bracelets are $2 for one and $5 for three. 100% of proceeds will go to the World Cancer Research Fund. Do your part to spread awareness about this important issue and support the global community. There will be a Principals Council meeting on, a, on Tuesday, October 26th during Power Block in the Guidance Conference Room. Hey skiers and riders, it's about that time. There will be an informational meeting on Monday, October 23rd during Power Block in the Auditorium for anyone interested in joining this year's Ski and Snowboard Club. The club is open to all high school students and no experience is necessary. Whether you're coming back for the fourth year or looking to see if it's for you for the first time, be at the meeting next Monday. Saturday, October 21st is homecoming. There will be a full day of soccer games on the field and the dance at night. The cost is $15 in advance and $20 at the door. If you plan on bringing a guest, they must be signed up in the office. Powder Puff practices resume this week today and Thursday. These practices are for players, coaches, and cheerleaders. Before going out with Mr. Campagna, please come and pick up your shirt in the cafeteria and then meet Mr. Campagna outside of the main office before heading out. Have you always wanted to know what it is like to be a star on the stage, to act, dance, and sing? Or are you creative and want to help with costumes and set designs? Or want to make sure that the show runs smoothly with set crew? And look no further and check out Wildcat Players for this year's spring musical. The spring musical is open to all students in grades 7 through 12. We will, we will be having two interest meetings on October 24th in the auditorium during Power Block and then after school in room 105. We hope to announce what show we will perform and give vital information on how to be a part of both cast and crew. No need to commit right now, just come and learn about the program. We want to work with all students, so if you are interested and are concerned about sports or conflicts, please check it out. We hope to ease any obstacle that might prevent you from showing off your talents. See Ms. Martin or Ms. Romano with any questions. The Patriots alumni cheerleaders are looking for students to volunteer at Gillette Stadium at a concession stand. If you are interested and are 16 years or older, please see Mrs. McMillan in guidance for more information. The upcoming SEL advisory is scheduled for this Wednesday, October 18th. Let's foster more vital mental health conversations at our school. If you have any questions or require further information, please contact Ms. Costavales. UMass Amherst will be visiting today at 8 a.m. If you signed up, you must have a pass to attend. And now here's a promotional video for Spirit Week.
the girls' varsity soccer team improved their record to 9-3 with a 6-0 win over Case last night. Kylie Fuller and Alyssa Catino each scored two. Rachel Ginnich and Sophia Hume picked up one. The girls travel to Bourne tomorrow night. Good luck, ladies. Boys varsity soccer beat Case 1-0 yesterday with a goal from Brendan Marinelli in the last minute of the game. An outstanding team defensive performance was highlighted by goalkeeper Ben Stapleton saving his second penalty kick of the season on the way to a shutout. The boys play at Bourne tomorrow night and then play Abington on the turf on Saturday at 1 p.m. And now it's time to go to Rudy for snack and lunch today. Tuesday. Today's featured hot breakfast is a, is a funnel cake with powdered sugar. Other choices include a variety of pastries, soft pretzels, uncrustables, assorted breakfast sandwiches, smoothies, caramel apple nachos, and a pick two snack rack. For cereal lovers, check out the new cereal varieties at the Speedy Cereal Display in front of the milk chest. For lunch, the hotline is offering a pair of soft shell beef and cheese tacos with your choice of toppings on the cold bar, including lettuce, salsa, jalapenos, and sour cream. Meatball subs are at the grill, and the pizza station has Tony's French bread pizza. Freshly made grab and goes include chicken Caesar salads and wraps, buffalo chicken wraps, vegetarian Mediterranean wraps, bagels with yogurt, turkey and ham subs and Uncrustables. This week's featured salad is fiesta chicken with cheddar corn and black beans served with sour cream, tortilla scoops, and a Southwest Ranch dressing. Please think about reducing food waste. Only take what you think you'll eat and put unopened juice, fruit, and other sealed items in the share bins for others to enjoy. Now, back to the anchors. Thanks, Rudy. And finally, a happy birthday to Deborah Ojibana and Faith Ojibana. You both share a birthday with m and That's all for the announcements today. On behalf of Rudy, Kayla, myself, and the morning crew, have a great day.